Elvis Presley, then 22, paid $102,500 for his massive mansion, Graceland, and its surrounding grounds in 1957. The youthful king of rock and roll stayed in his huge Memphis, Tennessee home for the remainder of his life, frequently filling it with friends and family on weekends and holidays. On August 16, 1977, he passed away there. The building, its appearance, and its contents have changed several times throughout the years, but Elvis's girlfriend, Linda Thompson, made some significant changes in the 1970s. Want to know what were some of the changes that Linda made? Then stick with us in this video to find out. But before that, let's get to know her a bit more. Elvis initially met Linda in July 1972, just months after his divorce from Priscilla Presley. The model recalls being captivated by how sexy Elvis Presley was. They started a passionate relationship that grew into a loving relationship. With a sarcastic roll of her eyes, Linda Thompson confesses that she certainly knows how to pick men. She lost her virginity to Elvis Presley. The sensation of his kiss is still strong several decades later and mothered him through his addiction's excesses. Elvis Presley, possibly the most desired guy in the world at the time, was both charming and monstrous. He and Linda, an actress and songwriter, had been dating for nearly five years. But she yearned for children, for normalcy, for an end to the ups and downs of his final difficult years. You'd think she'd find everything she desired in her next relationship with Olympic gold medalist decathlete Bruce Jenner. Mr. America, a guy of godlike physical perfection, married Linda in 1981 and had two children. But four years later, he revealed his desire to transition. Linda kept his secret for 30 years until Jenner came out as Caitlyn Jenner, a trans woman. With great irony, Linda says, such a normal life. Even her most recent partner, famed music producer David Foster, from whom she divorced after 14 years, has received surprising acclaim. Foster is supposed to be Prince Harry's mentor. Foster's fifth wife, Catherine McPhee, is 34 years her husband's junior and went to school with Meghan Markle, with whom the two have become close. When the Sussexes escaped Britain, the Fosters assisted them in finding a safe haven in Canada, and their friendship has grown stronger since they came to California. That's a long list of ex-partners. But Elvis was the love of my life, Linda admits. Despite his death in 1977, he remains the world's best-selling performer, and the world remains enchanted, intrigued, and magnetized by him. Linda knows all too well the power of this enduring appeal, having gone to the United Kingdom to meet hundreds of fervent Elvis fans who keep the memory of the man she knew alive. The premiere of Baz Luhrmann's outstanding new film Elvis has brought new luster to his mystery. It has achieved box office gold and introduced a younger audience to the tale, starring Austin Butler as Elvis Presley and Tom Hanks as his infamous manager, Colonel Tom Parker. However, several of Elvis's closest associates have criticized it for erasing the last five years of his life, including Linda, one of his last great loves. Linda wasn't asked for her opinion and doesn't intend to see the film. Baz Luhrmann never called me, she claims, adding that she believes the film does Elvis an injustice. There are numerous inaccuracies and falsehoods, according to her. She points out that, while Elvis and vocalist B.B. King are portrayed as confidence in the film, they did not have a close bond. Worse, her role in his life has been erased. Every time Elvis was in the hospital, I'd share his room, Linda remembers. While she hasn't seen the film, she has heard the plot lines from others. The film portrayed his ex-wife, Priscilla, by his bedside. She never ever visited him, let alone stayed. I saved his life about 10 to 12 times during those last years, she claims. She adds that, contrary to popular belief, Priscilla and Elvis's divorce was rancorous. He disliked his wife for leaving him for the karate instructor, Mike Stone, 
and staged a meeting to show off Linda, the leggy beauty queen, to Priscilla. She recalls him accompanying her to his daughter Lisa Marie's school. He said, Honey, Priscilla will be there, and I want you to meet her. But will you wear flat shoes because you're five foot nine tall, and she's only five foot one? He came to terms with Priscilla over time. I'm glad she saved Graceland for the fans, Linda continues. Speaking of Graceland, Elvis invited Linda to move in with him there, within the first year of their relationship, which is also where Elvis's daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, was buried a few days after her death in January 2023. As soon as she came and settled into the Memphis, Tennessee structure, Linda started working on integrating her character into the iconic structure. Linda shared images from a private tour of Graceland on her Instagram account in 2015. Images of some of the iconic stained glass pieces adorning the majestic building were included in this post. She captioned her photos. I designed the stained glass peacocks leading into the music room, the climbing roses, and P.E. stained glass at the front door. Linda also decorated parts of the lower rooms at Graceland, as well as the jungle room. All of these were created with Elvis's distinct taste in mind. Linda concluded in her post, rarefied memories were made at Graceland. The stained glass peacock panels between the living room and music room, as well as the stained glass over the front door, and the stained glass fixtures over the pool table in the basement, were added to Graceland in October 1974, according to the official Graceland website. The Memphis-based Lockup Stained Glass Company completed the job for Elvis at a cost of $9,345. The stained glass peacocks came to life throughout Graceland, as Elvis also had the birds roaming around. Elvis Presley was an avid animal lover, who kept horses as well as farmyard animals, such as chickens, ducks, and even a turkey named Bowtie. To this day, a statue of St. Francis of Assisi, the patron saint of animals, stands within the jumbo room. Even though the king liked the critters at first, there were occasions when they became too much to handle. Elvis was a big enthusiast of peacocks, which are thought to represent eternal life in various religions. There were actually some pet peacocks that ran around the property here at Graceland at one point. Elvis specialist and archivist Angie Marchese revealed during a virtual live tour of Graceland in 2021. That is, until they noticed their reflection in the gold Cadillac and began pecking the paint off. Elvis may have enjoyed having his peacocks stroll about Graceland, but the birds became too much for even him, who barred them from his property. Needless to say, the car got a new paint job, and the peacocks found a new home at the Memphis Zoo, Angie added. Linda eventually ended her relationship with Elvis. In December 1976, their relationship ended. Elvis had a Madonna complex, she recently said. Once a woman had a child, she was no longer a sexual being to him. As a result, she began weaning herself off him. Linda told him, I love you, as they held one other after an emotional farewell meeting. And then I walked away, she recalled. Pretty amazing to know that a lot of the changes in Graceland can be attributed to Linda Thompson. What do you think of the changes that she made? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more celebrity news. Thanks for watching.